morning, everybody. Uh, well, all during this, this week, we celebrate the risen Lord, you know. He died, he suffered first, but he rose, he came back to us. And he always with us, he's really. Mary Magdalene was one of the great people who remained faithful to him to the end and loved him dearly. She wanted to, you know, to, to, to love him. To, she wanted to hold on to him. But Jesus said, no, you know, really, you have work to do. I want you to go out and tell the apostles that I have risen. She was the apostle to the apostles. She is a splendid example for all of us. Yeah. And then turn the apostles went out to bring the good news to others, you know, really. So in this time of, you know, sadness and gloom and fear and worry uh, because of the uh, virus, you know, it's a time for us, Jesus followers, you know, to also, you know, not not to be selfish, but uh, to, be, to be concerned for others, to pray for others who are suffering, you know, really, uh, and pray for the, the loved ones of those who have died. And for ourselves to be joyful and be to be hopeful and to share that joy up with others to reach out to others to give them a word of, of comfort and consolation lord and uh, help us to pray that we may remain close to to the lord you know mary magdalene didn't recognize him because he appeared to her as a gardener you know well jesus appears to us and, and everybody really, especially in the poor. So uh, let's do our best, you know, to help them, to help those who are out of work and those who are lonely and abandoned, you know. So let's pray Thanksgiving this week and let's pray with joy and, and hope and place all our trust in the Lord who loves us. God bless you.